Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the women's flyweight bout between Priscilla Cacoera versus Jillian Robertson. And I see this fight right here, so I'm not high on either woman, to be honest. Not high on either woman. I definitely think for the longest time, Jillian Robertson was the much more complete fighter than Priscilla Cacoera. And even at this point, the more complete fighter. But I do feel like Priscilla Cacoera, right now, Loki more dangerous. Loki, a lot of mystery to her. And Jillian Robertson is a woman that, you know, when pressed, she will crack. And I feel like Priscilla Cacoera could potentially press her and crack her, but I'm going to lean to Jillian Robertson in this one. I feel like she has a clear grappling at edge, and we haven't really seen Priscilla Cacoera test it too much. We've seen Gina Mazzani test it a little bit. And then she was basically able, you know, to endure that and then find some openings and put Gina Mazzani away. In her last her fight prior to that, she fought Shayna Dawson, who's mostly a striker, and knocked her out in 40 seconds. So we haven't really seen too much from her, but I guess the Gina Mazzani fight is a little bit of a testament to her improvement. And definitely her head mode movement and in general her striking, a lot of her game was just pure stiffness, pure trash. But she has worked on that line and got much more refined as a fighter. But I do have the concerns about Jenny Robinson being pressed, maybe not able to get that takedown, and then get a walk down, tagged, and then wilting and quitting out there. That's a concern, but I'm leaning to Jillian Robertson grappling. Because I feel like Priscilla Cockerer hasn't necessarily truly been tested in her grappling since. And I feel like that early on, that was a weak, like, you know, the weak part of her game or the weakest part of her game. And I'm expecting Jillian Robertson to test it. I feel like there's going to be some scary moments for Jillian Robertson, but I feel like she's able to find a way to drag it to the ground. And then from there, you know, she's in her element. Be a force Cockerer to overcommit or, you know, make mistakes trying to get back to the feet. And then and I think in that second round, she take like, Takes it back when she tries to stand up, sink the hooks in, gets her pounds her out, flatters her out, and then taps her out with their rear naked choke in the second round. So in this fight, I have Jillian Robertson via second round TK submission. Not TKO, second round submission. 